Hello, dear people. It's so good to be here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, remember that uh, Governor of Benue State, Samuel Othom, was attacked about some months ago by the Fulani headsmen, and that has really caused him to be very angry with the presidency and even the president that he said he will ensure that he takes that case up against the presidency, against the president and others. But, you know, somehow the uh, president was able to uh, send a soft message to him, to which, which really made him calm down of, uh, you know, not taking the case up. And since after then, he has really been angry because nothing was done about the headsman attack over him uh, when he, on his way to his uh, farm on that particular day. But now, remember that Anamdi Khan was actually attacked, uh, was actually arrested by the Nigerian security and there have been different reports of where he was arrested. Well, that is not the case. But right now, Samuel Othom actually said something very, very strong to the presidency and to the president. And, you know, everyone is just giving their opinion about Unamdi's arrest. But, uh, of course, uh, Othom has been someone who has experienced some of the pains before. And um, he just decided to give his own uh, part of all of this going on in the country. Well, I'll bring you more details, but please ensure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, like, and also share this video. Okay, dear friends, without further ado, let us dive right into the details of this report. As it says, that Governor Samuel Othom of Benue State on Thursday flagged off the year 2021 sales of fertilizers by calling on the federal government to apply the same energy it used in arresting Namdi Kanu to arrest leaders of Mieti Ala Kota Hor. Othom explained that Fulani leaders have continued to cause too much pain in the country with the incessant killings across the, the country, particularly Benue State. He described as a misplaced priority the arrest of Namdi Kanu, who he said was fighting a just cause. Otham said that the federal government could as well deploy the same energy and zeal to arrest leaders of Mieti Ala Kotahor, who he said lived in the next neighborhood with the presidency. It is regrettable that Kanu is fighting a just cause could be arrested while leaders of Mieti Ala Kotaho are working out about freely. Let there be justice and the only way to do this is to arrest the leaders of the headsmen who have caused so much pain and suffering to our people. Let me say that if the federal government could deploy so much zeal to arrest Unamdi Kanu, they should also be able to apply the same in arresting the Fulani headsmen, especially the leadership of Mieti Ala Kutsahor, who lived with us in the country. On the sale of fertilizer, Otom joined and joined the people to ensure that fertilizers are not sold beyond the stipulated prices and should not be transported outside the state. He said his administration would deal decisively with anyone who flaunts the directive. The governor announced that one bag of 50 kg of NPK fertilizer purchased at 9,000 naira would sell for 5,000 naira. One bag of 50 kg of Yuri purchased at 12,000 naira will be sold for 6,000, while a liter of organic fertilizer will sell for 2,000 naira. Othom, however, commended the federal government for the steps taken through the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to cushion the effect of the 2017 flood in the state, disclosing that 32 trailer loads of relief materials have been received, while other, another 14 trucks are being expected to be distributed to the 23 local government areas of the state. He also said... Uh, claimed that uh, so well uh, the governor of uh, Benue State have spoken uh, that you know the same energy the federal government is using to run after or chasing Namdi Kanu and other agitators they should put that same energy in getting hold of the Fulani headsmen and other 
uh, other bandits terrorizing the country, which we all can agree to because I believe there are things, there are other priorities. And if we uh, uh, prioritize wrongly, it's going to affect a lot of things. When we talk about agitators, agitators are not doing anything that is unconstitutional. It is constitutional for them to agitate on whatever or for whatever reason. But in the aspect where some people are causing atrocities, causing mayhem in the country, and you have not made any decision about them you allow them to walk freely in the country then you are a supporter of you know the wrong things because like what governor tom said going after namdekan is not a priority how can you send securities out of nigeria to go ahead to get an amdekanu when inside the country here we have bandits killer headsmen we have boko haram and even iswap together none has been dealt with and yet we are going after namdekanu going after sunday Buhu, destroying their family members doing all sort of things to them this is not the time because with all of this they are only trying to instigate more problem for the country now sunday Buhu's family members are in serious trouble because his wife has been kidnapped some of his family members were killed and their bodies were taken away and now unamdekanu is in the police custody and you think that those people who are agitating with him will allow this case to rest then you are causing a fresh fight at the end of the day, you only say this group are proscribed or this group are terrorist group. Then you now have more terrorists to deal with in the country. So that means you have more enemies that you now have to fight in a country like Nigeria. So I'm just wondering, how is the presidency thinking? How is this government thinking? Are they really thinking straight on something that would help the country or in what way are they really thinking? Because I feel that if they are thinking right, they should first go after those who are causing problems for the country. We have a lot of insurgency problem. And that is why so many countries are not even doing business with us at the moment. So we are running at a loss on a lot of things. And if we don't deal with these insurgency issues, now we are talking about Unamdekanu. The next thing we are talking about Sunday Igbohu and all of that. When do we want to stop all of this banditry? Because you are raising more enemies for the country. Going against Sunday Igbohu, going against agitators will only cause more problems for a country like Nigeria. So I plead with the federal government and I hope that even as Nigerians are speaking, governors and everyone is talking, let us prioritize. Insurgency, Boko Haram, killer headsmen, let us first deal with that. Then every other thing would just be very easy to come naturally that is the basic truth but going after the wrong people is only instigating more war or more problems for this country which will not be good at the end of the day well my dear people that is it thank you so much for listening whatever you have to say please drop it in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up do have a pleasant time bye for now